Hey guys, today let's see how to create a Power BI streaming data set and a streaming dashboard. We'll also see how to uh, push a sample streaming data uh, with the help of Power uh, PowerShell. Okay, so I have this workspace. Let me uh, create a streaming data set through API. So I'll name this as my weather data set. I'll add few attributes. Let's say date. This is going to be my date time and temperature, which is going to be a number, and then humidity. Which is also a number. I will also enable the historical an data analysis so that I can visualize it. And you could see a sample being displayed already, which which gives us the format. So let me quickly create this. So you could see a sample PowerShell or, or a curl or any script, right? I mean, all these three scripts are being created. So we could use any of these methods to push a data set. So in this uh, we'll, uh, video, we'll go with the PowerShell. So before we actually push data set uh, into it, let's also create a simple dashboard out of it. Let me take a copy of this. Let me create a dashboard. I'll name this as weather report. Let me add few tiles. So I'll select my source. This is my weather data set. I will add a card for temperature. And the title is going to be temperature. I will add one more tile card um, for humidity. And then I will add one more tile. Um, this time, let me go with a line chart. So these are the visualization types we have right in the dashboard mode. So let's try line chart. My x-axis is going to be a date. And I'll add two y values in the y-axis, one for temperature and one humidity. Uh, this is I'll leave it as such. My time window to display let it be on minutes. So I'm going to push data set for every second. So let's let's visualize it in the minutes. So yeah. So let me quickly rearrange. I'll bring these two cards here and I'll expand this line chart over here. Okay. So now that we have this dashboard template ready, so let's try to push the data set. So we already have the API information copied, right? So let me go to PowerShell. I'll paste the script. Let me push some dummy data sets, right? So let me say 94.2 is my temperature. 98.1 is my humidity. Let me hit. So when I push this, you could see the data is being passed over here, right? So now this is one single entry. So now let me create a simple um, PowerShell script. I'm going to iterate and pass a set of sample data, right? So, so what I'm doing is I'm pushing the data set for every single second. I'm going to repeat it for 100 times. And this is going to be my endpoint, which, which I have to update. I have to copy it from the API. And this is going to be my payload. So remember, we created three attributes, the date, temperature, and humidity. So I'm going to iterate. This is basically a do-while loop, which is going to iterate for 100 times and then pass some random values to all these attributes, like date, temperature, and humidity. So I'm going to assign some random date to it and some random number on the range 0 to 40 to temperature and some random number from 0 to 100 to humidity. And finally, I'm going to push that or as a, I mean, I'm going to post this into my API. I'm going to push the data set and I'm going to repeat this 100 times so that I will push some sample data every second. 
and which we are going to visualize it in the Power BI report. So let me copy the API, uh, the push URL. I'll replace this endpoint. So now let me execute this code and we can visualize it over here in the <coughs> Power BI report. So we could see streaming data being pushed and Power BI is visualizing it on the fly, right? So hope you guys are clear of the basic concepts of how streaming data set works in Power BI and how we can push it. Thanks for watching. Please do let me know if you have any clarifications in the comment section. Thank you.